Recovery is finally on the horizon after a painful year for hundreds of thousands of hospitality and casino workers. So I sat down to speak with Derek Stevens in the middle of March Madness. He's the owner of the new Circa Hotel and Casino about the week that Vegas went dark. What he says we need to recover and how the vaccine has been a game changer to bring Vegas and more tourists back. Derek, give me one word for this week last year. So if I had to come up with one one word, I would say last year was, there was just a void or, or maybe it's there was a vacuum. The rug got pulled out from under us. When everything got canceled and then we got shut down, it went from the best to the worst. It was so depressing and so disappointing. How did you even go about telling staff, we all got to go home? It was brutal. So much of someone's income is generated from tips. All of the tipped employees, I mean, this was the week where you made enough money that you could, you know, knock a mortgage payment down, where you could knock a car payment down. This was the week where, you know, a lot of people funded their 401ks and did savings. When it got pulled out from everyone, it was, uh, I mean, it was brutal because everybody wants to know, well, how long will this be? What was going on? You find out a little bit later, it's even worse than you thought. Well, what I did is I just started scheduling people on different days. And for me, I showed up at, at the D and at Circa. I was there 363 days and I needed to do it just for myself. Even, even if there wasn't anybody there besides just a couple security people, we maybe had a little bit of a benefit because while everything was so bad in April and May and June last year, you know, when we reopened, we had, you know, different mandates. So things were always changing and we always kind of kept us on our toes. And then by the time we got to August, you know, my team and our people had, another thing on their mind and that had to do with hey we're open in circa you had but, something to look forward to yeah we absolutely had something to look forward to in, in the worst year in all of our lives governor sisolak is going to speak today what would you say to those in charge as to what vegas needs as vegas reopens there's nothing i haven't said to you jacqueline in the last last 10 minutes that i haven't talked to the governor about almost weekly what do you tell him about how i've lost people that are directors and supervisors so they move where, where the jobs are we've lost people that can no longer live here some of the younger kids move back home to their living with their parents there's been such a big exodus of of top talent that was recruited to Las Vegas. It's, it's sad to see that. I'm glad when we opened Circa, I mean, it provided 1,500 jobs, but in the scope of Las Vegas, 1,500 jobs, you know, doesn't really make that big of a, an impact when you've got hundreds of thousands of people that are laid off. How do you think the vaccine rollout and cases going down, how does that make people who come feel better? Probably at Super Bowl weekend, I had over 100 customers that came up to me with big hugs saying, hey, I haven't been here in a year. I missed it. And hey, I just got my first vaccine shot. Every weekend, that number's grown. And Sunday, a handful of people left and I could barely get out. They were hugging me and uh, they were all crying, crying, saying, you just don't, don't know how happy we are and how appreciative we are. So it's really emotional when, when people are kind of breaking out. A word for this week in 2021. Spring is in the air and uh, spring means hope. The crowds that come in are so excited for March Madness and for the spring weather and things coming back. Las Vegas is coming back and you're going to see it.